actualidad, espectáculos, negocios, deportes, todo en TV Radio Miami, la nueva televisión. Hey guys, I'm ready to start my future now. Wish me luck. Start your future now at Florida National University. Earn a degree in business administration, nursing, criminal justice and legal studies, accounting and more. Flexible day and evening classes or earn your degree online. Florida National University is regionally accredited. Financial aid is available for those who qualify. Start your future now at Florida National University. my friends, welcome to What's Happening at Florida National University. My name is Rachel Turgeman and I am the Community Relations Director. Today joining me is our Director of Allied Health Division, Dr. Loretta Monte. Welcome. Thank you and uh, good afternoon to everybody. It's so good to have you. My friends, we're going to be touching upon subject matters that are very important for all of us in this world. We're going to start off with obesity. What is the definition of obesity, Dr. Almonte? Well, obesity is defined when uh, an individual reach more than 20% of your ideal weight mm -hmm. or reach more than 29% of the body mass index. Okay, so why are we seeing in our nation more and more people are gaining more weight? I mean, we all have to get in the diet. I'm pushing my stomach here. But why, why is it that we're becoming heavier? Well, number one is the lack of physical activity we are getting more comfortable in our lives. Mm. Number two, the, uh, the choose of the easy way to eat, mm -hmm. especially the fast food. Well, our life is you know, hustling and bustling. We have to go to work. Some people have small children. Go pick up your kids, go to the school. So it's kind of hard to eat you know, nutritional food. Well, if, if you choose the, uh, the correct food, mm -hmm. even though it's a fast food, that would be healthy and beneficial for you. Absolutely, you will live longer, obviously. Of course, and it's very important, for example, if you are going to choose a cereal, or maybe uh, e even though a dessert, you need to check the, uh, the nutrition fact that is in the label of those products. Okay, so for instance, if you're gonna go eat something, you go buy it at any particular store, and you see the nutritional fact label, you have to look at the calories. What are we looking at? The saturated fat, the triglycerides. What are we looking at? We're looking at the calorie, of course. The calories. The percentage of fat that give those calories, the amount of sodium, the amount of potassium, sugar. the vitamin, the sugar, the uh, the starch, the I'm sorry, the uh, the fiber mm -hmm. that is contained there, and this will determine if if it is healthy or not, that fast food. Well, it's interesting, my friends, that he's brought up the nutrition label. Because now I've, I've started going to all the stores and I'm looking at all the labels, and one of the things that I find, my friends, is the sugar. Uh, it's my understanding, Dr. Ramonte, and correct me if I'm wrong, that four grams is a teaspoon. So sometimes I look at these, these soft drinks and I see like maybe like 32 grams of sugar. So what that means that we're actually consuming, my friends, eight, right? Eight spoons, little teaspoons or eight yes. teaspoons of sugar. Exactly. Each, no wonder we're gaining weight. Each tablespoon means the, uh, the, the spoon that we use to eat our soup is equivalent to 10 grams of sugar. Oh my God. So, I mean, that's why we're getting it's the weight. It's a lot of sugar, yes. So it's crazy. So now let's talk a little bit about our university. Florida National University, my friends, we're an accredited university. We're right here in Hialeah. We have two uh, buildings, the main building, we have a training building, and we have one in Coral Way. Isn't that correct? Is that correct? Since we're talking about nutrition, and, tell also, us and yes. also we have the online learning. We have the online learning. So since we're talking about nutrition, would you let our viewers know what are some of the areas that perhaps if they're interested in learning more about nutrition, for instance, I know that we have a bachelor's in natural science. Exactly. If for all those careers, uh, especially the bachelor's in natural science, that are going to prepare our students with the foundation to continue to, in the medical field, like a uh, school of medicine, the uh, pharmacy school, dentistry school, etc., will include this particular class, Introduction to Nutrition, to build out the foundation that are going to give the students the knowledge that they are going to, in the future, transmit to the, 
to the, their patients. Right, and they can get their master's in nutrition as well. Exactly. Well, for now, we can offer the, the bachelor's in natural science for all of you guys and ladies that you're interested in studying at Florida National University and interested in perhaps in studying a position as a doctor, as a medical doctor. Exactly. That's a perfect Zep way, correct? Exactly. To study something like this. Now, getting back to the nutrition label, let's talk a little bit about the sugar. The sugar can be disguised, correct? It could be called the corn syrup. Different yeah. names for it's sugar. It's different names, and we have to be very have careful. To be very careful, my because, friends. Because the carbohydrate not always are sweet. Hmm. For example, the corn syrup is not sweet, but it's sugar. It's sugar. Okay. And that's how it augments our weight. Exactly. And uh, all the excess of calories that we don't use, but we intake with our meals, are deposited. Right there in yeah. the little belly. Well, yes. We always probably yes. need to lose a little bit of weight. I would like to recommend something sure. that is very easy and very handy is to calculate the uh, portion of food that we need to intake using the, the palm of the hand, okay? Very important. Okay, and it's very easy, okay, it's very practical. So talk, have, take them through that, like for instance protein. Sometimes when you go to restaurants, <laughs> they load up your food with all that protein. Is that good or bad? It's not good because all the excess are bad. Okay. Okay. And also, we need to take into consideration that we need to eat more often, a small Which portion. Which we don't. A small portion because we don't have the, the, the time. time. Okay? We need to eat a very often, small portion, so we can maintain active our metabolism. For example, the, uh, the amount of protein that is recommended to, for us to have is about the size of the palm of the hands, like this one. So that's very little, because if you go <coughs> to any restaurant, the steak is usually huge. And because we don't want to leave anything there and it's so delicious, we end up eating it. Yeah. And then, so a minute on your lips forever on your hips. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for those people that like very much to eat the, the bread and the butter that is so good, the amount of butter you, you can have is the tip of your finger. That's it. No more than that. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. The, uh, the vegetables you can see here is whatever you can fit in your hands. Okay, the amount of sugar, the carbohydrate is like the size of the fist, okay? And the amount of veg, the, uh, I'm sorry, the fruits is whatever fit in your in the palm of your hands. So I obviously think. what he's saying, my friends, and correct me if I'm wrong, Dr. Monte, we're talking about portion control. Exactly. Yes, my friends, you heard correct, portion control. And I think most of us in this world have trouble with portion control. Yes. What do you have to say about that, doctor? Well, I think this is more cultural than anything else, and uh, about the about the uh, the time that we have to eat. Sometimes we have we just swallow the food because we don't have too much time between one meeting and to another meeting or one activity and between the activity. So we just swallow the food, and we don't see the amount. We don't see the quality of the food that we're taking. We just full up our stomach. But I think that what you're saying here, Dr. Monte, and for all our viewers that are listening, I know there's hundreds of thousands of people listening to us, and we thank you for your, for your uh, viewership, is the fact that we have to control ourselves. Exactly. And even no matter how delicious the food is, no matter how big it is, and we want to put all that in, that in our stomach, that we have to say to our brain, or the brain has to say to us, you know what, I've had enough. You know, what I've been doing lately, and, and tell me if I'm wrong or not, but when I go to a restaurant and they serve me a lot of food, Dr. Monte, I'll take the food and I'll just divide it in half. Is that, a good, is that a good method? I don't know, but that's what I've been doing to try to keep my weight down. And this is good method. At, at the moment that you receive your plate, ask for the box and divide and split it in half. That's outstanding. Okay. Now, getting back to Florida National University, I wanted to tell our viewers that 50% of our university deals with business administration, also deals with criminal justice, legal studies, computers. Computers, you can get an AA, a bachelor's, even a master's. And then the other 50% is medical. Tell them, tell our viewers. Okay, in the, in the medical field, we have uh, the nursing, uh, the three level of nursing. We have uh, ASN, the associate. We have the bachelor and we have the master's degree in nursing. We have a health service administration. We have associate, bachelor, and master's as well. Then we have uh, in the uh, associate, we have a physical therapy assistant. We have respiratory therapist. We have radiology technology. We have uh, diagnostic medical ultrasound, medical assistant, etc. Wow. What a huge gamut in the medical field. Exactly. So anyway, our time is running up. 
or running out actually. And so I would like you to leave with our viewers a particular message coming from a doctor perspective. What is it that you want to tell them in a nutshell about nutrition and how can we live longer lives? I would like to recommend to take your time and analyze what you're eating because remember, what you eat is what you are and your health depends on that. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Dr. Almonte. Thank, Thank you. you for your time. Well, my friends, our time is up. Thank you so much for tuning in into what's happening at Florida National University. I'm Rachel Turgenman, Community Relations Director of Florida National University, and you've been listening to Dr. Loretta Almonte, Division Head of Allied Health. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now. Start my future now. Wish me luck. Start your future now at Florida National University. Earn a degree in business administration, nursing, criminal justice and legal studies, accounting and more. Flexible day and evening classes or earn your degree online. Florida National University is regionally accredited. Financial aid is available for those who qualify. Start your future now at Florida National University. Sumamos más de 10 millones de suscriptores. Ahora también puedes vernos. En Roku, gracias por su apoyo. TV Radio Miami.